Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be de-stashing some of my Happy Planner sticker books. I have never done a de-stash of my sticker books before, so I feel like now is the perfect time because I just have such a huge collection of sticker books that I don't really use anymore. Some of them aren't my style, but some of them I do want to keep. So I'm going to be going through them and seeing which ones I can get rid of or give away. Another reason why I want to de-stash my sticker books is because we actually got approved for the apartment that we applied for, so we will be moving soon, which is super exciting, and these sticker books are heavy, and I don't want to move items that I don't necessarily need anymore. That's pointless, so um, I feel like now is a good time to go through my collection and see which ones I still want to keep and which ones I want to get rid of. So I'm just going to get right into this video and start with... Uh, my Disney sticker books. So this is my stack of Disney sticker books. I had more, but my mom borrowed a couple and I just told her to go ahead and keep them. Um, so this is what I'm going to go through for Disney sticker books. So this first Disney sticker book is called Colorful Boxes. I don't know why because there are no colorful boxes in here, but this was like the first, one of the first Disney ones. I think I won this in a giveaway and I haven't really used it much. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of Disney, so I don't know how much of these I'm going to keep. So I think this one, since it is kind of more like colorful, that's not really like my style. So I think this one is going to go in my giveaway pile. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. This one is one I received during my squad term. It's called Farmhouse. I really love the colors in this one. Again, I'm not a Disney fan, but I do love the colors, so I'm kind of debating. I think I'm going to have a maybe pile, and then at the end, see what my maybe pile looks like. And then, by then, I'll have had time to, like, think. So, this is my giveaway. This is going to be maybe. And then, this is, like, the same collection, Farmhouse, but this is for the big. I think that's going to be a maybe also. This is the Indigo version and this is really cute but i just don't really like blue that much i don't know i think i'm gonna give this one away so it's gonna go in my giveaway oh this one's cute this is um modern mickey and minnie this is for the mini i think this one will be a maybe also and then villains i don't really have to look through this i'm not a big fan of disney villains so i think i'm going to put this in my giveaway pile. Same with this one. This Alice in Wonderland sticker book is super cute, but I don't know. I mean, these page flags, they're clear, but they're super functional. I don't know about the bright colors though, but I might pull this sheet out. I'm not sure. I think this one's gonna go maybe as well. And then the last one is this Whimsy Teacher Mickey and Minnie sticker book. I think this one's cute. I think I'm going to keep this one. So I'm going to keep this one. These are my maybe stickers. And then these are what I'm going to get rid of. So that is what I have so far. I'm just going to start making piles on the side. So that's a keep. So that is it for my Disney sticker books. I'm going to move on to the like regular sticker books I have. So I store my sticker books like this alphabetically in these clear containers from the Target bathroom section. They hold um, Happy Planner sticker books perfectly. I don't know if you can really see, but... Yeah, I love these. The width is like perfect. So I love these for storing them. I'm going to put this to the side and then just start pulling the sticker books out. Okay, so the first one is adulting. Now, I've used a pretty good amount of the sticker book. All the boxes are gone. Um, I don't really have, I mean, these I don't really use. So I think I'm going to give this one away. This Align sticker book is a more neutral one, so I think I'm going to keep this one in my collection. All the feels, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. It's cute, but 
I don't know if I'm gonna actually use it. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Be Yourself is one that I used a lot when I first got it. This is a student sticker book. Oh, I love these like summer and winter break stickers though. But everything else, I'm not sure about. I don't know if I'm gonna use like these subjects. Honestly, I might, ooh, these are cute too. I might just take those pages out because I have those um, create your own sticker book things that the Happy Planner came out with. Um, so I can just put the loose sheets in that and get rid of this because the majority of the stickers I'm not gonna use. So I'm just gonna tie this. I used to tie my sticker books like this, but then I was like, I don't like how that looks. So I quit doing it. But anyways, this one is going to be my get rid of, but I'm going to keep these sheets. So I have another copy. This one's not nearly as used. I love these quotes though, so not those ones so much. So I'm gonna take that. And then, uh-oh, I like pulled the whole thing out. Okay, and then these break sheets I really like. So I'm gonna keep those and that is it for this sticker book. The next sticker book is Bold and Blush. I really like this one um, and it's fairly new so I think I'm going to keep Bold and Blush. Books are magic. I also used a lot when I first got it. Um, I like those holidays and these crayons. So I think I'm going to take those pages out. Yeah, these are really cute for like headers. So I definitely want to keep those. All right, that is it for Books Are Magic. Next sticker book is Bookish. I really like this one. Oh, I love those. I'm not really sure if I should get rid of this or not. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Botanicals, I know I don't wanna keep this one. I've used all that I want out of it, which were ma uh, mainly the florals. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Celebrate, I think is good for like birthdays and stuff. So I'm gonna keep Celebrate. Obviously I am keeping Christmas Joy because I love anything seasonal. So that is going to stay in my collection. And then the last half of my first bin of stickers, colorful boxes. I'm definitely keeping all of these like functional ones. I think need to stay in my collection. And then I have another colorful boxes. I'm just gonna put these together since they're the same. Colorful leopard. I got this recently, even though it's kind of an older sticker book. I mean, not older, but I haven't really used a lot of it. I love these stickers, so I think I'm gonna keep this one for now. Next is Color Me Happy, and I have two because they were on sale at Hobby Lobby. These are very bright colors, but honestly, I think I'm gonna keep them, even though like the super bright colors aren't my thing. I'm not sure I'm ready to let this one go yet. So I'm gonna keep Color Me Happy, Color Story. I'm gonna keep these two Color Story sticker books. These are fairly new and I love the themes in them. And then this Color Story is also new. I got them, uh, actually I purchased these myself but they came out while I was on Squad. I don't remember what release but this one also came out um, when I was on Squad and the Happy Planner sent it to me. I really like this like floral section. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Next is Color Story, and this is a color story that I got when I first started um, decorative planning. It's like so thin. I took all the pages out because I used them all up, and I don't think I'm gonna use this again, so I'm gonna put this in my giveaway pile. Cool to be kind. 
This one's cute. It's also another student sticker book. Love those boxes. And I love these like test stickers. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one. And then I am definitely going to keep this dates and holidays sticker book. I love these small numbers. I use them a lot. And there's months, quotes, holidays, super functional. So I'm going to keep this one. So that is it for my first um, bin of sticker books. This is the pile that I'm going to keep. And then my pile that I'm going to get rid of, not too bad for starting out. So I'm gonna put these back and grab some more sticker books. Okay, here is the second bin of sticker books. The first one is Encourager. This was another one that I got when I first started, uh, when I like first discovered the Happy Planner. I don't use it anymore, so I know this one is going to go, but I do like these girls and those quotes. So I'm gonna pull out two sticker sheets from this sticker book. Oh, I like these quotes too. So I'm gonna pull that one. These girls and this page of quotes. Okay. Next is Wrong Wrong Every Day. This has boxes and everything, but they have a lot of the girls on them, and I'm not a big fan of the girls anymore, so I'm going to put this in my get rid of pile. Flowers I am keeping because I love florals. This floral sticker book is so pretty. I'm going to keep this one too, and I have another one of uh, this, so I'm going to keep both of those. Next is Fresh Start. Ooh, love those bullet points. There's also some more. I think I'm gonna keep this one. This is gonna be a keep. Another floral sticker book, I'm gonna keep this one. Glam Girl, I won this in a giveaway and I haven't used it. Not really my style, so I'm gonna get rid of Glam Girl. Um, this gold sticker book I like, so I am going to keep this one. Haven't really used a lot of it, but I really like the colors. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. Wrong Wrong Going Places. I don't really use this one anymore, but I think I'm gonna keep it because I love that it's like travel themed kind of, so I'm gonna keep that one. Gratitude, this is a newer sticker book. I'm gonna keep this one. I love the colors. And then Groovy Teacher I have not used yet, so I'm going to keep this one. I think this one is so cute. Love the colors, the quotes, everything. So I'm gonna keep those. Okay, next is Happy Goals. I have three of these because um, when I got these, they were $2.99 each at Michael's. So I had to stock up at the time. So I love those quotes. This is one of the ones that I haven't used yet. I try to use the whole sticker book first. I'm gonna keep this, but I don't know if I necessarily need three of them. I don't know, I kind of really love this sticker book. I'm gonna keep all of these. Happy Illustrations. This one's really cute. There's a whole bunch of different themes in here. Oh, the planners are cute and the holidays. I really like the holidays. I think I'm gonna keep this one for now. Happy memory keeping, this one is seasonal, so I am definitely going to keep this one. Haven't even used the Christmas stickers, so yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Happy quotes is another one of my favorites. One of the first ones I got when I first started planning. Um, so it's kind of worn down. There's a lot of cute quotes in here. I think I'm gonna keep it because it has like some memories attached to it. So I'm gonna keep that one. Happy and grateful, really like cute muted colors. Love it, gonna keep that one. Next is horizontal layout. And I haven't really used this sticker book that much. It's kind of like a color story made for the horizontal planner. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use this one, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Hustle and Heart. This is a newer one. I'm not sure I really like the colors, though. I mean, I like some of the stickers. Some of them aren't that, like, foil, so I like that. 
I think I'm gonna keep this one. Let Love Grow, definitely keeping this one. It's a pretty floral sticker book made for the mini, but I can still use that, so that one's cute. Let's Stay Home, I have not touched this one yet. And it's very homey, there's like chores, birthday stickers, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm definitely keeping Let's Stay Home. That is it for the second bin. So for the second bin, I have this big old stack for my keep and I'm getting rid of four sticker books. All right, moving on to the third bin. And I only have four, so we are almost done. The first sticker book, oh my gosh, I love this one. This one is Pressed Florals. When this came out, I did not get it. Um, but I think it's so pretty because of the florals. I love like flower stickers and the quotes are so pretty. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. But Radiate is another like um, minimal, love the colors. So I'm going to be keeping this one. Haven't really used much of it, so I need to. I'm going to be keeping that one. Next is Sage. Green is like not my color, but I love the greens in this sticker book. Yeah, this one is gorgeous. So I am going to be keeping this one for sure. Seasonal, definitely keeping this one. This is an older one, I think, but I love anything seasonal. So I'm gonna keep that in my collection. Seasonal, wrong, wrong. I don't use the girls anymore, so I'm going to be getting rid of this one. Um, these two seasonal sticker books I found at Dollar Tree for super cheap. I'm going to be keeping these ones even though they are a little older, um, but I still think they're cute. Next is seasonal type. Again, more seasonal. Love this one. Wish I had another one, so I'm going to be keeping that. Seasons of Color. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one is so pretty. I've actually been hoarding it a little bit because it's so cute and I just want to stare at the florals all day, but I really need to start using it. Um, definitely keeping this one. Spoonful of Faith is another good one. I used most of my favorite stickers from this sticker book. Um, but there's still a whole bunch I can use. Like, I have a lot of blank sheets in here. Um, so that's a good sign. I'm going to be keeping this one. Sophisticated Florals, one of my favorites. I love, like, the minimalistic look of the full, uh, floral stickers. So pretty. I used up all the black ones. Next up is Love for Letters. And this is, like, a hand lettering type sticker book, kind of. I love the colors and the font, and there's good functional stickers like those flags, the stars, so I'm gonna be keeping this one. Life is a Party is another one, like Celebrate, that I think is super fun, even though this one's not really birthday themed, it's just like kind of party themed. I think I'm gonna keep this one. This Valentine sticker book is super cute too. I love anything seasonal, so I'm gonna stick with this one. And then I have Marabou Design. Um, I'm not sure. Well, the holidays are cute, but they're in gold foil, which I'm not that big of a fan of. But this one's cute. The cute, like, um, insect stickers. So cute. So I'm going to keep this one. Merry and Bright, definitely one of my favorite Christmas ones. Haven't used it much because I got it last year around Christmas, so I only did like one or two spreads with it, so I'm gonna keep this one. Modern Meow, my favorite, I love cats. Um, this one is a for sure keep, and the colors are cute too. Um, Modern Wild, this is a newer one. I'm gonna keep this one as well. I think that one's really cute. And then Neutral Watercolors, I love this one. I also have the one in the big, so I'm gonna keep both of them. Painterly Collage is one I received recently um, when I was still on Squad, and I haven't used it yet. I love the colors. It's like teacher-themed. So pretty. Keeping that one. And then I have Pastel Tropics, which I think is cute. I think I can still use a lot of the stickers from this sticker book, so I'm going to be keeping that one. And that is the last sticker book from my third bin. I'm keeping like mostly all of them from the third bin, which isn't bad, but um, I'm only getting rid of like, 
I don't even know if I got rid of any from this bin. Okay, moving on to the last one. All right, so I've got my big stack over here, and the first one I'm starting with is Teacher's Rule. This is a newer one. I'm gonna be keeping this one. What is this? Oh, Tiny. I used to use this all the time, especially like in journaling. I think I'm gonna keep it. I have another one also, so I'm gonna keep both. Um, these watercolor sticker books are older. They are another one that I found at Dollar Tree for like literally a dollar. I don't think I'm gonna use these though. So I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna get rid of both of them. Next is Wild Plans. Love this sticker book. I'm gonna be keeping this one. I love the colors and the animals. Um, Wild Styled, this was like so popular when it came out. I've used like all that I wanted to use, except maybe those quotes. I know they're in foil, which is why um, I kind of avoided using them, but I really like them. So I might take some pages out of this sticker book. I apologize if the lighting in my video changed. I think it did because the sun moved, but I hope it still, I hope it still looks okay. So I love these decorative stickers, but I don't know. I definitely want to keep this page though. And then I'm going to pull the quotes out. Yeah, I think that's it for this sticker book. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Next is Winter, another seasonal one. Love it. This one is so cute. I've used a lot of stickers from this sticker book, but there's still plenty for me to use. Zodiac, I have never used, but I do want to keep it because I think it's so pretty. Like, look at that page. I'm not really a... Oh, Virgo, that's me. That's funny. I flipped right to that page. Um, I'm not like that into astrology, but I think this is just so pretty. So I'm going to keep it. Next up, I have spring, and I know I said I love, like, seasonal sticker books, and I'm going to keep all of my seasonal ones, but I don't know about this one. The quotes, though, I might keep, so I think I'm going to take some pages out of this one. I tried to stop and film later because somebody's doing yard work outside, so I apologize if you can hear that in the background of my video, but it's just been going on forever. Um, but anyways, I think I'm going to pull out some stickers from this spring sticker book. So I know these ones I'm not really going to use. The ones with the icons aren't really my favorite. Um, but these, even though they're in pink foil, I think they're really pretty. So I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep all of these black ones too because I can still use those. And I kind of like these doodles. Um, but I think that's about it for this sticker book. So I'm going to get rid of that one. So I have squad goals and also squad life. Um, I kind of like straight away from the Squad Girls sticker books, but I think I'm going to keep these because they're like a classic and this one I haven't really used a lot of stickers out of, so I'm going to keep them. And they're seasonal too, and I like seasonal. The next one is Springtime Flora, which came out in the spring release recently. haven't really used much of it. I like it, so I'm going to keep this one. This is super old. Stargazer. Um... I don't know if I, I mean, I like the stars and the leaves and everything. I haven't used it in a long time, but I think I still want to keep it. And then in a couple months, just re-look through all of my sticker books that I've kept. And then if I still haven't used them, then maybe I'll just get rid of them then. Next, we have Stick Babe Essentials. This is so cute. I love these stick girls. I know some people either love them or hate them. I personally like them. I've used like all of the planner girl ones. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. Next is Stronger Together. I haven't really used this sticker book that much. Um, the boxes are nice, the quotes are nice. I think this is one that I might just take the quotes out of because I don't know if I'll use anything else. So I'm gonna take this page out. This one, this one, this has pink foil, but that's okay. I think I'll still try to use that. And I think that's about it for this one. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. All right, the next sticker book is this student sticker book. I am a student, so 
I mean, there were other student sticker books like Be Yourself that I got rid of, but I think I want to keep this one. And the Black Holidays, favorite. Yeah, I really like this one. The next sticker book is Summer Fun. I think this one is so cute and fun, obviously. So I'm going to keep this one. Summer Vibes, um, obviously seasonal. The colors are kind of out there, but I think I'm going to keep it. And then I have a teacher sticker book. Definitely going to keep this one. This is not like a new one, but I think it's so cute. I still have a ton I could use, so I'm going to keep that one. The last sticker book is teacher florals, and I pretty much use up like all of the florals, but there are still like some functional stickers, decorative ones that I can use, so I'm going to be keeping this one. This was another bin that I kept like most of the sticker books, which is fine. Uh, but that is my last bin, so I'm going to show you um, the pile that I'm getting rid of. Like how many sticker books I decided to give away. So first, this is my maybe pile. I'm going to actually keep these. So I'm going to add them back to the bins that I have. And then the sticker books that I decided to get rid of. Pretty decent pile. Um, I still have three full bins of sticker books and like half of the fourth one, which is better um, than what I had. I mean, not what I thought, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, these, oh my gosh. I can't believe that I'm actually getting rid of this many sticker books. And then of course I have some sheets that I pulled um, that I wanna save. So that is it for my Happy Planner sticker book de-stash video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.